What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Akulai Espresso and we've gotten a lot of stuff since the reveal in terms of just little teasers and things pointing elsewhere and I mentioned I wanted to do a video on zombies today as of yesterday but it's more so solidified now that I want to do this and make this video focused on that for a couple of different things that came out in the past 24 hours and it's something that is rather exciting, rather intriguing and something certainly as a community we can embark on a little scavenger hunt to figure out more and to get to the bottom of everything that we have have here thus far. Now if all things that we talk about in this end up becoming true and end up being what in fact happens with zombies in Call of Duty World War 2, well then this definitely points the finger towards there being a lot more to the zombies mode than we really anticipate at this moment. Of course we don't know too much because all we have are these sets of clues out in front of us and the confirmation that zombies will be the cooperative mode within World War 2, but it's very possible this goes a lot deeper than a lot of people may imagine. So let's first start at the very beginning where this all begins and then work forward here in the next 24 hours time span and take a look at what has come out since then and what this could potentially mean for the zombies co-op mode. So firstly, it was confirmed officially that zombies would be something returning in World War II yesterday with the reveal live stream and that was something that Glenn Schofield had mentioned this was the first horror game that Sledgehammer has done in years and their last one being Dead Space, which if you guys have not played that, it's a fantastic game. Game and really does play on that horror paranoia type deal where it just is really kind of unnerving. So for them to tackle this in a completely brand new sense, in a complete brand new story as they've mentioned, is something definitely to be excited about. Personally, whenever you put it into that perspective, I don't think it's going to be something that is necessarily wave based like Treyarch zombies or Infinite Warfare zombies, but I think it's more so going to be a linear cooperative experience where you can go through and actually play a story rather than just say try and survive as long as you'd like as say an arcade game would usually warrant. So this first image that was placed up on the big screen at the IMAX theater and then distributed worldwide for everybody to see once it was revealed to the world, it was a Nazi zombie. And aside from the absolutely brutal detail on this and how awesome this looks and also terrifying, one thing that the Reddit community actually dug up was the fact that there was seemingly a cipher on the image itself. On the side of the helmet of the Nazi zombie, there was, if you played around with the image properties to change out the lighting and everything, you can see that once again, there is that cipher on the side of the helmet. And it reads I-U-F-D-J-B-H-L-O-P-J-M-U-B-A. Now, up until earlier today, Today, we didn't really have any indication as to what this would be used for. A lot of people just took it as a standard Enigma cipher, which would make sense because they were rather common back in World War II. So this kind of fit the era and the theme, but it actually was used for then something that was updated on the Call of Duty website. Call of Duty.com added a brand new page today in which you could go on and check out what was called the classified page. And there right in front of you was a digital Enigma cipher machine. And this was something you could input your own codes and test some things out, but the one that really worked out was the one from the zombies image yesterday. That being, once again, I-U-F-D-J-B-H-L-O-P-J-M-U-B-A, and when that was inputted, the three tiers would end up giving you a series of letters that you'd have to put together, but they were broken apart by each five letter designation. Once you put those together, you got the message, a new horror rises. And once you put that in and you completed that part, you ended up getting a dossier on top of your screen and you could open it up, to which it would bring out two different files, which are rather interesting and something that still doesn't have too much clarity, but does give us some decent hints. On the left side, you'll see a parchment sketch of Frederick Barbarossa with some blood splattered on top of it. And on the right side, you have an image of the portrait of a young man, Raphael, who is perhaps the most famous Italian Renaissance painter. And that portrait was actually stolen by the Nazis during the invasion of Poland. So that might have something to do with that. And that's something that we might have a little bit more closure on that image and that hint. But the left side image is still the one that is rather perplexing and one that to me garners a lot of intrigue simply because the sketch of Barbarossa could potentially hint towards Operation Barbarossa, which is when the Nazis invaded the Soviet Union. So potentially maybe going towards the campaign end. But what really gets me on this is the image itself in the files from the website. If you go and inspect element, you can take a look at the actual file designations. The image is designated with zombies twice, one being a folder and then one being the actual file name is zombies desktop 
1502.png. Now this is where my favorite part of the year comes into play, the theory and speculation and trying to piece things together left, right, and center like this. Because Barbarossa might just necessarily be pertaining to the actual person, Frederick Barbarossa. Now at a glance, Barbarossa was the Holy Roman Emperor from 1155 to his death in 1190. And sparing you all the details of everything that goes into the intricacies of his life, what I believe really does pertain perhaps to the notion of zombies is that there is a very large legend and myth around him. Supposedly, according to this legend, Barbarossa isn't actually dead. He's just asleep with his knights in a cave in the mountains of Bavaria, Germany. And the legend goes that once the ravens cease to fly around the mountains, he will awaken and restore Germany to its ancient greatness. So why this kind of seems interesting to me is the idea of reanimation, reincarnation, restoring of that power and that greatness, which not only zombies could focus around in terms of bringing somebody that's dead back to life, but also the power that Hitler and the Third Reich were after, which is once again what Glenn Schofield detailed to us that this story would be about the Third Reich's frantic efforts in the latter portions of the war to create an army. So what better way than to resurrect the legendary figure that would return Germany to its rightful, powerful state? So while it is way too early to make incredible assumptions like this perhaps and say with certainty that this may in fact happen, what if, just what if, this is where our story slightly centers around for this new horrific third game mode. Hitler and the Third Reich go and try and reanimate Barbarossa and the rest of his army, and it turns out horribly once again, and we see where things go from there. Previously, I had just thought that maybe it would be something to deal with the actual super soldier projects that Nazi Germany played around with, where there was that theory of creating something that is pretty much godlike in a human form that could potentially have gone wrong and once again created a zombie outbreak, which kind of then stems into some alternate history, but it could potentially go in hand in hand with what this third game mode could in fact be. But I'm liking the idea of this Barbarossa thing. Of course, that's just my personal preference. And based off of what we've seen so far, I think it'd be a cool fit, but I have no idea if it will in fact be that case. Now, additionally, there was something else that once you put in another code, it ended up giving you a different dossier, but that one's labeled as classified and that you don't have the actual clearance to view that one. And as of right now, we don't necessarily know what this would lead to, but the final pieces within the Enigma cipher on the Call of Duty website actually are coordinates. At the bottom, you can see there's some stitching in which it has some alphanumeric designations and that ends up taking you to the coordinates for Dunkirk, France. Now, if you're a history buff, you might know the significance of Dunkirk and the Battle of Dunkirk, but if you guys do not, it was between the Allies and Nazi Germany, but also served as the defense and evacuation of British and Allied forces in Europe from May 26th to June 4th of 1940. So it was a very prominent name in the history of World War II, in the topic of World War II, and little side note, I'm super pumped for Christopher Nolan's Dunkirk coming out this year, but once again, as with this, we don't know exactly why this points here, what it has to do with this, and where this could then take us next time. But it is something that I'm certain we're gonna be getting some more stuff here coming out in the next couple of days that points towards more teasers, more hints, and sends us on an even wilder goose chase and down the rabbit hole here for trying to piece together all these things for Call of Duty World War II. But all that said and out of the way, that is kind of where we're at right now with this Enigma cipher on the Call of Duty.com backslash classified page. If you guys want to go check it out yourselves, you can. And of course, keep an eye on it because there's definitely something that's going to come out within the next couple of hours, maybe next couple of days, maybe, and whatever it ends up being, it's going to be more teasers for Call of Duty World War II. But I'm very interested to see where this goes here in terms of zombies because it seems like that first cipher from the zombies image really ended up being something that kind of hinted towards where we're going to see the storyline going and personally I think it'd be awesome to see that myth of Frederick Barbarossa and the Third Reich pursuing that to reinstate the air quote rightful power of Germany. I think it'd just be a super awesome way to take this but of course I don't know your guess is as good as mine so that said what do you guys think of this? What is your take on all of this? Where do you think zombies will in fact go? And is there anything that you might see that I maybe didn't cover in this that you think is very pertinent and very important to the zombie storyline and what we could end up seeing in terms of teaser wise, information wise, whatever it may be. Feel free to drop it down there in the comment section down below. As always with this kind of stuff, I love trying to piece things together. I love theorizing about it and I love picking your brain 
brain to get your feedback on either my ideas or your own. So feel free to drop whatever it is down there in the comment section down below. But if you guys enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like down below. We're going to be keeping you guys up to date with everything you got here. So if that is interesting to you, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with everything regarding zombies, multiplayer, campaign, all that good stuff for Call of Duty World War II. A lot of things are going to be coming out within the next couple of days to weeks as we get more information coming out via these teasers and hints. So if you guys like that and want to stay up to date, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter to stay connected, that's the best place to reach me outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. All that said and out of the way, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy my theory and I want to thank you guys so much for watching. So hopefully you guys are having a great day. Might as well be Nicole Espresso. Take care and peace.